All right, guys. <clears throat> Smoking bears here with you. Uh, the kiddos are still sleeping. It is meal prep Sunday. Um, doing a little fun cook today. Uh, not like all my other cooks aren't fun, but uh, we got a beach trip coming up with uh, some of my family, and uh, uh, looking really forward to it. And um, they had requested uh, that I bring some pulled pork. So what I have is a Boston butt that I'm going to just, I'm probably going to rub it down with some Dijon mustard. Just got a little Dijon that was in the fridge. Hit it with a little bit of Bayou Bear. You guys have seen that. And then bear rub. Keep it simple. I got the drum heating up with some leftover charcoal from the uh, um, comp that I just did last week. Um, threw in some more cherry wood so so that bad dr. green is heating up right now so uh, let's get on with this and John in 1984 barbecue right there he requested that I wear something other than Ohio State so Marshall it is so uh, let me let's get into this and show you what we got oh before I forget cheers everybody Hope you're having a wonderful day. All right, now now we can get back to work. All right, so here's our six and a half pound uh, Boston butt. Looks gorgeous. Got some good marbling. Looks good. I, I would trim this up, but I'm just not going to. Um, I'm going to keep this simple. This is for the family, and I'm just not going to get into all that competition trimming. Um, I've kind of had enough of it actually to be honest with you getting my red rubs kind of opened up here ready to go now let me just rub this in it's just the Dijon mustard rub that money muscle real good get up in here down in this between the muscles get the horn all these good just give it a quick quick little rub down I'm not so worried about rubbing down my fat cap because I mean really you know it's not going to get in there so we're going to rub down the sides and I put plenty of mustard on there that was my binder all right Bayou Bear roll her up on her side oh, let's coat this um, Sometimes you gotta sing to yourself. Yep. And so I'm just sprinkling this on. Give it a little little kick, a little something something. Alright. Just want to make sure you get all sides except for the fat cap i ain't too worried about the fat cap and then i'll add some of this back in probably with the pull my muscles opened up so inside here where this all that silver skin is let's just get some in there why because it opened up all right now a little bit of the uh bear rub that in see how it's coming up with the yeah let's just get that in there the dog's getting crazy it's actually a nice day out today uh, we've had some pretty crazy weather so all right I'm not really gonna pat that in because but get her all in there okay you guys see that all right that's good all right so let's uh go check on the pit and we'll be right back all right guys so i'm going to do a double feature today so i got my new plastic down it's just, just plastic bag um i put a drum lid that i had cleaned up and painted and made it all nice i stick it inside of a plastic bag that I turned inside out and that's what I use as my prep station because I can just pull this out you know the rim 
the, you see the rim keeps all the juices and stuff inside where I need it you know it doesn't slide off like I want a cutting board um, and then the bag I can just fold it back on itself pull it through and all my trash easy cleanup so let me get back into what the double feature is double feature got some corned beef uh, briskets so Worcestershire Worcestershire W sauce whatever you want to call it goes down on both rub that in real nice and good nice and good all right so one I'm gonna use this Mo Quezon's beef rub we're just going to sprinkle that on. It's a little heavier uh, pepper taste, so uh, I think it'll pair pretty well with the already salt base that's from the browning process. So I don't want to go too, too, too heavy, but I just want to make sure everything's nice. And judging by the looks of it, I'll, I will do the back side of this just because there's some naked spots. All right. Pretty simple. Nothing fancy. Okay. Now the next one, you know, I already rubbed... I already patted it down. I'm gonna have a little residual, but that's okay. I'm gonna use this hardcore carnivore black. My wife loves it on beef, on steaks and stuff. So, so we're gonna try it out on this. You see, it goes on pretty black. Get the edges there. Uh, fat cab. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna W sauce it. Just too worried about that. Get all the yummy bits, sides. Um, not sure about the sodium content in this. Um, whether it'll be too high or not. If it is, then we'll just we'll adjust it later. Um, how are you going to do that? You say, well, probably with a sauce. So, all right. Now, I'm going to get them moved over into the pan. And then uh, we will... Let's just sprinkle a little more on there. Get them moved over to the pan, and then we'll get them out to the pit and whenever it's ready. So we got the pit pulled up to 220. Um... I want it a little bit warmer, but I'm since it won't be in there. It'll get up there, so take the butt. Put it on first. Set it over here on its spot side. And then now take these flats. Put them on there. The flat and the point, the the, the briskets there. All right, so that's that. They're on, and uh, let me get the lid on, and uh, I'll go get my probes and get ready to put them on. All right, guys. So there it is. Dim jumped up about 275, showing 270 on the on the pit minder. Got the Maverick hooked up. Cool little thing. Use one of these little magnets from Harbor Freight. And that hangs right on there and if you put it down by your handle then it keeps the gap there so it doesn't get too hot so i got my pit minder set up for 250 degrees um, i got it shut off right now so i can go ahead and turn that on so it'll come on when it needs to so when it cools down it'll kick on uh, there's the battery box for the pit minder uh, i'll have to do like a little video on that later but uh that's where i'm at so I'm on a monitor. Basically, I just put those in for the uh, the top two are the uh, 
corned beefs and the bottom one's a butt. I mainly just put it in for the uh, the corned beefs, but here's the way I transport my Mavic probes. I just stick them in a piece of PVC. Um, oops, piece of PVC, and then I roll all the wires up together. You know, if anybody has a better way to do it, please comment below and let me know. Um, that's just something I do um, to try to help protect them some. So, all right, well, we'll be back later on. Mm, go ahead. All right, guys, so we're still running 250. Um, I had the lid off for a minute, so it's a little higher. Uh, running my uh, corned beef is running 156, 151. The butts 128. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap these. I didn't really think too far ahead to uh, get apple juice and all that stuff, so I'm just going to I'm just going to wrap them. That's the hardcore carnivore black. So I'm just going to wrap this up with an awesome top. There's a pond. <laughs> so I'm going to double wrap. You are? Yeah. Um, what is that going to do? It's just going to help keep the steam in. Okay. okay. Alright. I love your little setup right here. I'm going to put, put the probe back in. Stick the probe back in there. Now, this one here is the uh, the Mo Kicks on. So let's uh, turn that. I only wrapped this one once. Oh, this one's getting a double wrap as well. Is it the other one not getting out? The butt's not ready to wrap yet. Okay. Guys, Bear Cub just got up about an hour ago so now right, she's like completely lost in what's going on. I know it smells good. It does smell really good. The color was right where I wanted on this one so that was really cool. Really good. So let's get them on. I'm using the short probe. <laughs> Don't inhale the smoke. All right. Got that in. Alright. Get a hammer down. Alright, that's it. I'll let this go about another five or ten minutes or so, then I'll come out and kick the uh, fan on. Because right now the fan's off. That way it doesn't uh, run my heat up too much since I just had the lid off. So we'll be back in a little while. Uh, half hours. I don't know if I said that. <laughs> but it's been two and a half hours. Alright. Alright, guys, so we're back. Um, I wrapped the corned beef briskets, which are pastrami now, um, after two and a half hours or something like that. And then they went to one hit 195, one was it, or one hit 201, and the flat did. And the point ran up to about 185, 190. Um, I pulled it off, let it rest in the microwave, opened up and vented, and uh, this is what we got. So here's the point that had the um, mo case on, and then here's a flat that had the hardcore carnivore. So let's get let's get one on the cutting board. Let's do this one here. Boy, see that juice still in there? Ooh wee! Let's see, my grain's running this way, so I got to cut against it. Just one a little bit, man, uh, because. Mm. Like that. that looks gorgeous, don't you guys think? Yep. Set that back in there. So let's give it a quick little taste test. There's the bark. Hmm. Hmm. And getting the hint of salt right off the bat from the brine, but then that peppery and that dark. The seasoning really comes through. Boy, that's really good. Rex, what do you think? He's still staring at me. What about Bell? 
Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's try the next one. This is the Mo case on. It's okay, though. <clears throat> Pull this one up here. I'm going to cut this little nugget here off because that looks so good. Let me see. Mm -mm. See the bits of, see the marbling in it. See the marbling in it. Looks good. It's so good. Oh, Bear Cub chimes in from way out in the peanut gallery. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try it. Okay. <gasps> All right. Wait, I'm going to try it. So, Rex. Bella. He likes it. The dog likes it. The dog? Dad! Yeah, Bella likes it too. There you go. She's looking the floor. And he's waiting for more. Anyway, so here's this. Wait, I want to try it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Wait, which one was that? Oh, that one? That's some okay song beef rub. Guys, I like that Moke on beef rub. I do. Oh no, bud. Oh no. It's peppery. It's got some black pepper in it. It's got the chili powder. So, yeah. Works really well with this. You don't get a lot of salt brine on it, uh, or the salt from the brine in it. So, that's, that's really good. That's kind of what I was going for. Bye, guys. So. That's, right. the, that's the point right there. I go back to it. Show me. Mm, mm, mm. There you go. That's how you need to Alright, that's enough of that. So, that's my corned beef. Uh, or pastrami. So, I'm going to... That one's better. You like the black... Mm-hmm. Okay. This one feels too, like, chewy. Like, too. It's got a lot more fat in it. Mm-hmm. So, all right, guys. So, cheers. I'm going to uh, slice this <clears throat> and vacuum seal it and get it ready for our beast trip. <coughs> Excuse me. And we will be back when the pork butt comes off. Um, I wrapped it after four, four and a half hours. I was at about a 150 internal temp. So I wrapped it. I put a little uh, parquet and some taga sauce in it to jazz it up just a bit. So and then I double wrapped it and it's on the pit right now. I jacked the pit temp up. Only because I want to get it done faster, get it cooled down, and get it pulled before bedtime. So, bedtime's coming up in about four hours. So, five hours. I wanted to get it done and get to that point. So, that's where we're at. Matt. Alright guys, so we're back. Uh, my butt has rested. Uh, here we go. There you see it. Look at all that goodness. And you say, man, that's a lot of juice. Yes. What did I add to it when I wrapped it? Um, I added some parquet and some tiger sauce. And that's it. And then I wrapped it. Ran her up to, uh, temperature got up to about uh, was 198 when I pulled it. And it's rested. And as you can see, that bone come out clean, completely clean. Got a little bit stuck on. Let's try it. Hmm, mama, mama bear here. Hmm. All right, so let me pull this out. Put it here in this other pan so I can pull it. What you got? I mean, so we can get a better look at this. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go through and pull all this fat out. So I didn't didn't really trim it. Oh man. You see it's still kinda it's still pretty warm. It's not hot. It got a little steamage there. And it's just pulling fine. So all right. Oop, mama's going in for some more. What you think, mama? It's good. It's good. Mmm. I do love Mr. Pulled Pork. Actually, I just got off the phone with my cousin who we're going to the beach with, and he heard I was smoking some some pulled pork. He's excited, really excited. Uh, so that's what I got. So that's smoking bears. Remember, a family barbecues together stays together. Get out there, fire it up, even if your kids don't want to be involved, like today. But it's okay because I had them doing other stuff. <laughs> so that's all I got. Have a great week, everybody. Bye. All right, guys. So. A little quick thing um, I realize I didn't show you this um, this is something that I do and once you pull your pork get all the little strands of fat out that you can you know uh, you don't want any of that in there because it'll fat does equal flavor but when it's all greasy and nasty it's not good eats so what I do is I take the juice and usually I have it in the pan and then I pour the pan into this thing Called a fat separator and as you can see got the stopper in there so the fat doesn't go up in there the fat line is right here you kind of see it right there see the fat line so all this down here is all you now what I like to do is you pull that out and then I like to pour see as you pour it your fat stays above the line here and I'll pour just about that much not the whole thing I usually don't do the whole thing because you don't want the fat in there but you want some of the the, the liquid from your the butter and the tiger sauce and then the seasonings that come off and and then I give it a nice twist and mix Nice and so easy, you don't want to, you know, kind of, you don't want to overwork it. So, and then as you know, you look around as you're tossing it, find any fat, get it out of there. Uh, so that's my little pro tip. Uh, that's my pro tip. Gonna just give it a little bit more. And if you put too much of it back in, it'll absorb it and it'll become, it'll become mushy like it's overcooked. But it's really not. It's just absorbed too much. So, all right. That's all I got. So I'm going to, uh, I just want to share that with you guys. And at this point, you can actually add in some more of the rub that you used. One of the rubs to give it a little more, uh, more depth and flavor if you want. It's up to you. Um, at this point, I'm not going to. Um, but I'm going to get this vacuum sealed and get on. That's my pro tip. Have a good one.